Hey guys, SmoothJK here. Just wanted to catch up on some things and record a video and um, talk about some of the latest updates. Now, I'm unable to record currently on my phone where I normally use Airshoe because it's not working right now. Uh, it's one of those screen recorder programs where the licenses get revoked time to time and uh, typically it works out in a few days, but for now um, I can't do it, so I'm using my PC. Hopefully um, the sound and everything is okay. I know it comes out a little bit fuzzy, but nothing I can do about that right now. Um, the first event that I'll talk about uh, is this weekend's Gill Snappers Cave. Typically you don't want to invest too much energy in getting Gill, but um, I realize that for some people they're not, you know, comfortable with their Gill supply. They might have used a lot of Cactuars, they might be running dry, so, um, you know, do this in moderation if you absolutely must, but uh, generally speaking, I don't recommend um, Gill Snappers or even um, the Vortex for Gill. It's kind of a waste of energy in my opinion, because you, um, toward the end of the game, you don't really run out of Gill anymore. Uh, issue report, they're talking about how um, since the new update, the auto feature actually doesn't work the same for iOS users at least. Um, now my main form of playing is typically on my iPhone, so this has been a kind of a pain where I'm so used to queuing up commands and then after everybody's queued up, I can um, just hit auto and everybody does their queued up commands. But now if you hit auto, it'll just default to normal attacks, which is really annoying. Um, sometimes I forget now. So um, apparently they're uh, aware of this issue and it sounds like they're trying to fix it. Uh, and then there's a couple of other things here where it's crashing with blind and poison effects and um, the jump ability. I've I haven't used jump ability in a while, but uh, apparently that's causing it to shut down. So um, I've ha I have noticed that a lot of um, there's been a lot of crashing going on, but for me it's typically when I'm in auto battling. <clears throat> so hopefully they fix that. Um, for the most part, I like the new update, especially the, the new summon um, screen here. <clears throat> um, one of the main things that changed, other than showing multiple banners like this, is that um, you can now buy 11 summons straight off the bat for 5,000 lapis rather than having to buy the bundle of tickets and then do that. Um, so that's kind of just makes sense. I don't know why they didn't do that before. Uh, also, when you're doing single summons, you can just do straight up 500 lapis, or you can use summon tickets, so you kind of have the, the option of using either. Um, I have 16, which is a um, pretty decent supply because I've been buying the, uh, the 300 uh, lapis summer deals. Um, I think I already bought it for today, so I can't show you, but um, you should be purchasing, purchasing those as much as possible because 300 lapis versus 500 is a good deal. Plus you get uh, a bunch of extra goodies like Elixirs, um, Phoenix Down, I think, uh, and a Magic Key, I think. So it's a really good deal. Um, <clears throat> next thing to discuss is a uh, friend point campaign. Apparently it's extended from Tuesday to Friday. Um, today is Tuesday, and I haven't seen the 50 point um, deal for using your friends, so I don't know what they're talking about. Let me take a quick look. <clears throat> yeah, see here it says plus 10. So I'm not sure if that's some kind of bug or oversight on their part. Um, it would be nice to have that because I would still like to summon some captors to stockpile those, but um, yeah, I'm really not sure what's going on. Okay, well, the biggest news, uh, as always, is new allies joining the fray. Uh, this banner is kind of a curious one. Um, There's a lot to talk about, actually. First of all, the two new units, Amaret and Lani. Um, not really that exciting. Amaret is actually a decent unit. He's a, kind of a, a, an easy tank to get if you don't have a Warrior of Light or Cecil or even a Leo, maybe. Um, he starts off at 3 stars, so he's fairly easy to get. <clears throat> he um, doesn't wear the best armor or anything, and he only has like a natural HP plus 
but um, he is able to heal himself. He has a native um, draw fire or draw attack rather than having to rely on the golems provoke. <clears throat> I know a lot of people don't have this two star golem, so that's very handy. Um, I think in the Japan ratings they give him an 85 out of 100, which is pretty decent. Uh, so if you don't have a tank, you might want to consider getting him. Lani is just ac absolute trash. She tops out at 4 stars, even in Japan today. Um, so for the foreseeable future, she's pretty much unusable. She's um, rated like a 50 out of 100. So probably the worst character to ever appear on a banner so far. Um, the main attraction of this banner is actually Zidane, who is not a u new unit, but... Um, the reason for this is because his Trustmaster reward is um, still the best in the game, even in Japan. Uh, the reason for that is because you can basically wield two weapons instead of like a weapon and a shield or weapon and nothing else. You can wield two weapons, and what that does is it doubles your attack. Um, what that means is instead of one attack, you do two. Instead of, like if you were using Barrage, instead of four, you would do eight. So it's really a crazy DPS skill and everybody should aim for this in the long run. I actually have one Zidane but um, it's just taking forever. It, it's going to take forever to farm that Trustmaster so I'd like to get two or three of him at least. So he's mainly the, the draw for this banner um, more than anything else. Kuja is really average at this point of the game. He was okay when the game first came out, but he's completely overshadowed by um, Kefka, Xdeath, uh, Tela, Terra even, I guess. Um, he's just not that good anymore. Um, Graviga comes in handy for the Colosseum. Um, Dandaga is okay, obviously. Um, he has decent mag, but um, he doesn't have any other elements, so there are times when he's kind of useless. Um, He's still okay if you don't have a mage, but um, definitely not something to chase after. And Vivi tops out at 4 stars, so there's really um, only so much he can do. Um, I'm guessing that due to the fact that he starts at 3 stars and tops out at 4, he's going to be the most common draw from this banner. So the only good thing I can think about with that is that you're going to eventually get a number of a lot of VVs and maybe you can get a Faraga Trustmaster reward. Which would come in handy for somebody like uh, um, Kefka, who doesn't have Faraga natively. But it's really not that good anyway. Um, so back to Zidane real quick. There is a little bit of debate on the internet and the forums. Um, they're like, you know, should I pull for him here or should I pull for him in a future Trust Mastery banner? The problem with that thinking is that um, when people have been looking at data mined images and banners trying to figure out what's coming in the future it hasn't been accurate at all all of the banners have changed we haven't seen any of these trust master banners that feature one character basically with a, a really good rate so um it is possible that it could come in the future but i wouldn't want to rely on that because we haven't been seeing that already and it seems like they're changing everything from what appeared in japan we're not just getting like a copy of what they did so i am going to pull for zidane here it is possible he'll show up later on his own banner, but um, I wouldn't bank on it too much. Um, so that's my recommendation. And then the last thing to talk about is Expedition into the Abyss. Looks like another farming event where um, the main thing I think that we need to go for here is the um, HP plus 15% recipe. This will go great on your tanks. Um, currently we do have kind of a farmable HP plus 10% which is the riser trust mastery but obviously that's not that easy to get it's much better to just craft something from a recipe although I don't know what the materials for this is maybe it's uh, the materials that you need to get from the event but um, in any case getting maybe a few of these would definitely help burst shot is eh and um, stone rub blade might come in handy situationally but um, the HP plus 15% is definitely the main draw for me um, Hopefully it's not like overly grindy. It is lasting kind of a long time, a couple weeks, but um, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want it to take over everything the way that the um, the, the previous event did for the Rot of Gravity. Uh, hopefully they learned a lesson because I know a lot of people complained about how hard it was to get that rod, and some people just didn't even go for it because it wasn't worth 
all that time investment and energy. So anyway, that was um, my quick update. Um, with regard to my accounts, <clears throat> I you know obviously have my main party on my main account uh, maxed out. My main priority now needs to be exploration um, for two reasons. One is to get hero heroes ring materials. Pretty much everybody in the end game is just farming heroes rings, and then also I'd like to get my um, my Rama. Um, to two stars because he's stuck at level 29 for a while even though I did the crystal event and that's the, about as far as I could get him so I'd like to get him to two stars but the main thing I'm going to be doing on my main account is farming heroes rings on my alternate account I have Artemios maxed out but everybody else is four stars and I've been farming a ton of sacred crystals I'm finally done farming sacred, sacred crystals so I'll be doing um, vortex um, what is it experience chamber of experience um for the foreseeable future so that's my quick update for my accounts but um yeah i hope this was um informative in some way um uh, the main thing to to pull from this video is really if you don't have a zidane you need to have at least one or two because in the long run it's kind of the meta you need to have a dual wield unless you get a lightning as your main dps she has a native dual wield, which is part of the reason why she's so good. But if you have a dual wield trust master reward, you can always use it on a different character. There are better characters once they have that, like Orlando, for instance, in the future, um, who become arguably better than Lightning. Um, but you need this trust master to really unlock, um, you know, the full potential of some of these future characters. So um, that's it for today, and uh, hopefully, I can get back. Uh, online with air shoe on my iPhone soon, but um, I wanted to get something out there in the meantime Also uh, before I forget There is a very useful video that I'm gonna put in my description that discusses how to use scripts for the Nox emulator um, I pretty much have given up on Just farming the earth shrine over and over in my time because I just don't have the time to to waste like that uh, I'm kind of in and out um, because I'm so busy so um, Using the script to farm this overnight um, is just going to be so useful, um, and I am not usually a script user, but I don't consider this cheating at all because, first of all, I think it is legal according to the TOS for now, but also it's just, um, it's so tedious and time consuming that it's almost like you have to do the script or you have to pay money and buy a bunch of dupes, so it's up to you. So I'm going to link that in the description, he made a great video for it, and um, I know I'm going to be using it, it's very helpful, so um, yeah, I almost forgot to mention that, but that's very important, guys, so um, anyway, I, I don't know why I did this with my main party, that was kind of a waste, but um, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time, and um, yeah, hopefully I'll get everything back up and running soon, vacation's over, time to get back to work, so yeah. Take care guys, see you next time.